Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf, and welcome back to the channel, and I know we are severely lacking on our Disney news lately, but I like to kick back and watch Rob plays and DSNY newscast and Mickey views, and usually just like to, you know, hear what those guys' opinions are on it, but the main point of this video is Tokyo Disneyland just released like a behind-the-scenes type of type of look on the new animatronics for Enchanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast um, that's coming to Tokyo Disneyland and it is absolutely incredible like you know you you ride Navi River Journey and you see the you know the shaman and all that and you think it looks amazing but this is going to be so much more like as far as you're going to be immersed in the entire t in the entirety of the tale of the Beauty and the Beast and in the castle and this ride is actually taking a little step away from like the rear projected digital faces kind of like you know in Frozen um, Frozen Ever After and Epcot and this has taken on more of like a, you know, Little Mermaid style, um, you know, animation, kind of like, you know, at, inside the Magic Kingdom. But just look at the movements and the just the fluidity and it's just, um, it is definitely next level stuff here, guys. Now, like I said, the only downside is um, it is only, as far as right now, only coming to the far, far east of Tokyo Disneyland. So we have heard rumors of it possibly making its way into a fantasy land, a remake inside uh, over in Disneyland. Um, as far as Disney World, nope, uh, I don't think so. But I, I, you know, honestly, I would gladly trade Be Our Guest Restaurant for this attraction. I mean, because if you guys, you've seen my videos before, I think one thing that the, the Magic Kingdom in Disney World is severely uh, missing in Fantasyland is that e-ticket uh, dark ride attraction, and um, I just think this would be, I mean, you imagine the, how how tough the fast pass is. I mean, this would be a, um, well, uh, this something like this would actually maybe free up a little bit of uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, but no doubt it would be a, a two, three hour long wait. Um, just, I mean, because, I mean, look at this. Look at the way the animatronics, I mean, the way the eyes blink and just the, the, I mean, the whole, like I said, the whole fluidity of this is just next level stuff. Um, the Imagineers are actually working with Walt Disney, you know, Walt Disney Animation Studios. Like some of the articles I saw earlier today said that they're even working with some of the original artists from the 1991 film. And, um, this is just, uh, like, oh, this is just totally, uh, totally stunning totally insane um you know another guy another person that was explaining it good and in going into some of the uh some of the more details about some of the Disneyland rumors is uh, hit up our guys over at Fresh Baked. Um, really, really interesting stuff there. And, um, you know, I really wish this could at least make its way to Disneyland because I know for a lot of us that's a lot more feasible uh, than traveling all the way to Tokyo. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's just uh, that Tokyo is like the big test park. They can really go out on a limb uh, over there, whereas, you know, Disneyland stays uber traditional Walt Disney World is kind of you know they they even kind of take it take it a little easy over there and it just takes a really long time before you know Walt Disney for the Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World steps into things like this but um it seems like it's full steam ahead for a 2020 release inside Tokyo Disneyland for this and the whole Beauty and the Beast land just I mean it just looks absolutely incredible if you've seen the renderings of the Fantasyland Forest Theater and all that this will that this will encompass. So anyways, guys, leave your thoughts down below on what you think about these animatronics. And if you would love to see like an e-ticket dark ride like this make its way to, to Disney World and the Magic Kingdom and just all your thoughts on this and, um, and you know, really exciting stuff, what's to come with the, uh, you know, the next two years from here to 2020 and beyond, um, you know, just with, with the Walt Disney, the Disney Parks. And uh, yeah, so thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. Smash that like button if you end up enjoying this video. And I will catch you next time. Thank you, guys. See you.